Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby, I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're gonna do another great full body workout you can do in your home, minimal space, minimal equipment, and uh, effective full body workout. Remember to come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move, so five to 10 minutes of a cardio workout. Get your muscles warmed up, it helps prevent injury. Get your heart warmed up and ready to move. So we're gonna start with a weight plate today. Lots of people have like old weight sets sitting around in their garage or their basement, and this is another um, thing you can do. So if you don't have a weight plate, you can grab one dumbbell, maybe a little bit heavier if you have one, and we're gonna do kind of a squat row. So standing with that plate, remember to always pick things up with good form. I'm gonna have you sit down into a squat. So your knees are bent, your hips are back, your back is flat, and your tummy is tight. Now we're gonna put this right down below your knees, between your knees, and pull up. So you're driving your elbows towards the ceiling. If you're using a dumbbell, you're just holding the ends of the dumbbell and doing the exact same thing. <sighs> tummy tight, back flat, no arching in the back like this, or no rounding the back, I should rather. Driving your elbows towards the ceiling, really focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades as you pull up. Breathing, two more. And 10, all right, good. Like I said, use good form, setting it down as well. Okay, now we're gonna grab one dumbbell, a little bit lighter maybe than the one you were just using. We're gonna do some clean snatches. So we're gonna start with the dumbbell in one hand. We're gonna do another squat here. So down into your squat, you're gonna bring that weight straight here to your shoulder and then press up overhead. We're gonna do one arm clean and snatches here. Two, right up overhead. Now, sit back in those hips. If you can't get that weight all the way down to the floor, that's okay, you can start here. Bring it to your shoulder and up, that's three. Four. Let it go down slowly when you lower that weight. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. Down, quickly up to your shoulder, up overhead. Down slowly, quickly up to your shoulder, breathing, sitting back into that squat. Keeping that tummy nice and tight. Two more, up over. Down, up to your shoulder, and up. All right, very good. Now we're going to do the rest without equipment. Now we're going to do some punches. So I want your feet nice and wide, kind of able to move back and forth. Right here for your hands, we're going to punch up diagonally and then down diagonally. So bending your knees, Tummy tight. This should be as much of a core workout as it is a shoulder workout. So we're going to do this a little bit quickly. So we're going to go up, up, down, down, up, up. We're going to go five this way. This is four. And now we're going to start with your left. So we'll go left, right, down, down, up, up, down, down. Start with a smooth motion and then get a little bit more jabby. So you really want to get a good, this is a good um, power workout. So we're working on quick out, quick back, quick out, quick back with each one of those punches. Next time you go through them, try to mix it up. Maybe start down to one side and mix it up partway through. Make your brain work a little bit as well. Okay. Now we are going to lower down to the floor and do some hip work. We're gonna do uh, donkey kicks. So down on your hands and knees, you want your hands directly beneath your shoulders, knees directly beneath your hips. We're going to take one foot up like this, like we're going to push the ceiling away. And now, key here, tummy tight, back flat. You envision holding a teacup on your back that you don't want to spill. So we're going to press up and down here with one leg at a time. 
I want your neck in line with the rest of your shoulders. So keep your head. You don't want to be looking down here or looking up. You want to keep your head in line. And then really focus on keeping that back nice and flat. And 10. Good. All right, rest. Switch sides. Oops, I'm getting a phone call and it's making my... Okay, other leg. Foot up towards the ceiling, back flat, tummy tight, head in line with the rest of your spine, shoulders down, up. Two, three, keeping that knee bent. Five, it's a pretty small range of motion. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now, you may want to sit back in child's pose, stretch out those glutes. Make sure you um, stretch those hamstrings good at the end of your workout as well. Okay, now we're going to lie down on the floor on your back. And bend your knees. We're going to let your knees kind of fall off to the side like this. And then I want you to reach over opposite. I'm gonna grab a little ball just to kind of emphasize where my hands are I'm opposite. So I want your hands kind of in a diagonal line with your knees here. We're gonna to come together and then reach opposite the other way. So your knees are staying nice and bent. You're kind of rotating on those hips a little bit. Three, reaching overhead. You don't have to have anything in your hands, but it helps me demonstrate where I'm going with my arms each time. If this is way too much, you could just do it with your knees, kind of reaching out diagonal each time. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. It's easy to hold your breath with core exercises. Find some sort of a rhythm and keep breathing. I'm gonna do one more to each side. And rest, good. You should really be feeling that in here. If you're feeling it in your back, really focus on keeping your back as flat to the floor as you can. Also, if you, if it's too much doing the arms overhead, keep your hands here and then just tap the sides of your feet kind of diagonally instead. All right, one more. We're going to stand up, so stand up nice and slowly. Let your blood pressure return to normal. And back up, we're gonna end with a balance exercise. Okay, now we're going to do an airplane. Ooh, I got that a little bit high. So an airplane hold is um, standing on one foot and tipping forward. So standing here, I want you to tip at the hips. So only go as far as you can safely and comfortably and without back pain. So when you tip forward, you're tipping right here. You're hinging at the hip, not here. So I don't want you to go back like this. Pull those shoulder blades back, engage that core. Just tip right here at the hips. You're hinging at the hip. So we're gonna lunge or a hinge forward at your hip. Quick knee up and see if you can hold it. So back slowly into an airplane. Quick knee up. We're gonna do five. Good posture. Just tipping up that hip, leading with your belly button down. Up, think about quickly up. Do it next to something sturdy. You can do it next to your kitchen counter. Up, all right, now we're gonna switch sides. Or you can do it next to, you know, anything sturdy, a kitchen counter, um, a sturdy railing. Remember, you're tipping at the hip. This is flat here. Up. Up, hold. If you can, try not to put a foot down the whole time. If you need to, you know, if you get to the sit and you have to readjust, that's okay. One 
one more. I'm needing a little balance on this one. And up. Okay, good. Practice those. Those are fun. Get a little bit of a power movement in there, um, adding even more of a balance challenge. Okay, go through these one or two more times, add some stretches and a cool down at the end. And please, as always, let me know if you have any questions, need any substitutions or um, anything else. Have a great workout, everybody. We'll see you next time.